W O R D Miami LaGuardia. Lord be with me. Hi guys and welcome to a recap of day one of flight attendant training this go around. <laughs> so it's been a long day. What do we do today? What do we do? So we're staying at a hotel like maybe five minutes away from our training facility. So they have a shuttle that comes and picks us up every morning. Um, so today we got picked up at 8 a.m. on the dot. No being late, of course. Um, and today was basically just orientation. They split us up into two separate classes. Um, Y'all might be able to hear the water. My roommate took the shower. Brittany, super sweet, lover. I was a little worried about this whole roommate situation at first, but I think it's gonna be okay. We both get along very well, very chill, laid back. It's all good. Um, anyways, so yeah, just orientation really. We went over um, what to expect throughout the training, tests, and all of that. Let me get my book so I can be a little more specific with y'all without being too, too specific. A little binder that I brought with me. But, um, yeah, we definitely went over lots of good information today of what to expect. Um, so as far as tests, we have, um, it doesn't say how many procedure validations, so that's like, like actually doing drills and, you know, door evacu- um, opening and closing doors, emergency evacuations, all those things, those are called procedure validations. It doesn't say specifically how many we have. Um, then we talked about EMEs, which is towards the end of training, which is your event management evaluation. Now, early on, what scenario we'll have during the EME, and we'll have lots of time to practice, so that's actually really good. Um, and then online exams, just, you know, your normal test, and we do have to get a 90 or above to pass, and we get, um... How many retakes? Three retakes and there's a total of five exams and I believe they said there's 50 questions on each test. So that's good. Um, yeah and then of course I just went over personal conduct and points and things like that and then homework which was all good. You know that's just the normal stuff you know. Um, we went over appearance we talked a little bit about um, hospitality training and what's to come with that in a few more weeks. Um, so today was really just chill. We did our food order. So the way food works is, so this is an unpaid training. Let me just say that. No coinage at all. <laughs> but they do provide you with food the days that you're training. So we do have a few off days. I think we have four off days over the 31 days. Um, we're off the day that Lion King comes out, and I was so hype about that. <laughs> um, but, um, dang, what was I saying? Oh, the food. Um, so just depending on what time you leave in the morning. So they, like I was saying, they split us up into two classes. I am in class B and then there's class A, but our time differences really aren't that far out. So there's some days just based on the schedule here. I think the earliest day that we actually have to report at the facility is 5 a.m., which is super early, but that's realistic when it comes to flying because sometimes you have, you know, flights that leave at 5 a.m. You, you got to be up and at the van and to the airport by a certain time. So, you know, that's just practice of getting up early. But yeah, earliest report time is 5 a.m. to the facility, and then the latest report time I have seen is 12.15 on one of the days. And most days it looks like we range between really 7 and 8. Um, so the van comes and picks us up from the hotel 30 minutes prior to whatever time class is scheduled to start. So with breakfast, breakfast is served between 6 and whatever, 6 and 8, I guess. 
so you're able to do whatever you want in the morning go get breakfast which is complimentary from the hotel specifically then they feed us lunch at the facility and they give us basically a menu for the week um, this, this is the little can y'all see that this light is so bright here but yeah, anyway, so there's a menu here that they give us for the week and they give us a little paper to check off what we want for every day. Um, and they deliver it right to the classroom. We don't have to eat in the classroom, we can go wherever we want, but that's a really good service, you know. So I think tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday, you had the option of meatloaf, orange chicken, orange chicken, hamburger, cheeseburger, grilled chicken burger, black bean burger, vegan burger. Um, I chose meatloaf, um, just, just so y'all can kind of see what the foods are. There's chicken teriyaki on here, lasagna, um, chicken fiesta, shrimp fried rice, chicken Caesar, you know, just kind of a lot of basic stuff. There's a, um, basically a kitchen, a kitcheria, a kitchen that's in the facility, but they just have everything um, pre-ordered and pre-made for us. So that's nice. And then, you know, most days we get out of class about, six seven o'clock and then dinner is served um downstairs once again where breakfast is at 7 30 for both classes so we got all of that squared away today um we had the credit union people come through dang i forgot to turn that in maybe i'll remember tomorrow um you can sign up for the credit union if you want to they offer that to just the flight attendant groups get offered that on their first day since technically we're still not employees um you know you don't actually become an employee until you graduate training but they said we're the only group that they offer that to from day one of training so i'm going to definitely take them up on that offer because i don't actually have a credit union and i've actually been wanting to get one for quite a while and i just never did so that one will be free to us you know no startup via whatever 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 um yeah I mean there's not really a lot to tell from today it's real simple I think we have maybe a little less than 60 people total 50 58 something people um, everybody seems fine so far you know y'all know me I'm just gonna keep it chill easy peasy by my business share knowledge if people ask or whenever I feel like it um, and that's it I'm really just kind of ready to get these 31 days over today is July 9th um, graduation is August 7th um, but most the last four days of training is just IOE so we do basically a four-day flight I believe three or four days um, so training really is more kind of like 27-ish, 28 days. Um, and yeah, you know, like, that's it. All the instructors are really nice. You know, we met the CEO. He seemed very, very, very genuine. His name is, I'm not going to tell y'all. <laughs> Never mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, everybody seems really nice. And then orientation days are just really good and it kind of gets you excited and I honestly I needed that because I was still just very much in the space of you know let me just do this and just get it over with just so I can get back you know in the air and you know living the life that I want to live um, but just from watching the videos that they displayed and just kind of getting you excited about the company um, was good you know it was it was good for my soul I don't know if I mentioned it or not yet but this is a regional airline that I'm training for and I'm sure y'all gonna figure it out real soon anyway um, so you know there's it's there's different things from my previous airline and I've mentioned I don't really want this whole situation to be a comparison between JetBlue and this new airline I'm not gonna do that um, but just for me personally it will be different you know smaller planes um, just different things but this airline is actually a bigger company than what JetBlue is so this company currently they have 18,000 employees compared to JetBlue's definitely not 18,000 employees so you know it's it's just gonna be interesting to kind of see what it's like from going from a major airline to a regional airline um this airline has a union they have a contract um yeah 
you know, I am actually really just getting a little more excited about the experience and what it has to offer. The pay is less. Less. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever is really happy about um, getting less pay, but we'll see if whatever other benefits or, you know, positives, if that weighs out the, the deduction in pay, the pay decrease, uh, what, however you want to put it. Um, but that's really all I got for y'all, um, for today. You know, once we get into the swing of things, I will really update y'all. Um, try to be as detailed as possible without giving every single thing away. Um, and I probably really won't be doing a lot of vlogging out and about. I probably will just keep it really basic to just the sit downs in the room and the talkings to the camera. And I think it's day one though. So who, who knows? Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Good Bye. morning, y'all. Oh, it is 6.05 a.m. Day two. And... I just got back from the gym, just got out the shower, I'm trying to do a little something to my face. I'm watching Big Little Lies, trying to multitask. I need to get up out of here because my roommate needs to get in here and go eat some breakfast. So, let's go. This is my little closet corner for now, y'all. This situation is horrible. All my, like, clothes, clothes to wear the training are in here because I need to go buy hangers and get them up in the closet and then my dirty clothes are just laying right there because there's no hampers here I didn't plan for that so I need to go get me a little laundry basket thing and yeah trying to you know get it organized so it won't feel so clutter I feel like for me clutter causes anxiety and I gotta get get this together so we're gonna go buy some organizational storage tool stuff today Look at this old nasty Dallas weather. You can't even really tell with this stupid light on. Hey, turn. Oh, yeah, just left class, pouring down. Oh well, what can you do? All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. So it is now 6:20 p.m. We went to class at eight o'clock this morning. I forgot to tell y'all yesterday, today's day two of official training, yesterday we bid for our bases. So I bid in order of Dallas first, Chicago, Miami, LaGuardia, or it's only four bases, that's what I put my order of. Of course I want to be based in Dallas, stay home close to Texas, or in Texas, close to Houston. Um, then I figured out today what our seniority list was because they didn't really make it clear yesterday. So there's a total of how many people in the class? 46? 40, I think 46 or 47. Um, I don't know. But 46, 47 people total and I'm number 19 out of it. So, I mean, I'm still above the 50% percent percentile for seniority. But with that being said, there were still quite a few people that wanted Dallas as the base as well. I feel like half of the class wants Chicago. Another almost half of the class wants Dallas. And then there's still a few people here or there that want Miami, but pretty much know they're not gonna get it. Um, Cause Miami is a smaller, more senior base for this airline. So anyways, I just kind of wanted to update y'all on that as far as base bids. And they said we should know by Friday. So today is Wednesday. So we'll see what happens. Um, but what did we do in class today? Today was just a sit down and go through PowerPoints type of day. Pretty, pretty boring. Um, well, not really boring, but you know, it's just not really interactive. So it makes you sleepy. Drink a whole bunch of sugar down coffee. Um, but just like phases of flights, um, we went over a lot of like crew member responsibilities and things of that sort. Did we do anything else? Um, we answered a lot of questions, kind of played a little game, I guess. Yeah, we did do that. Um, 
right pretty much after like every section of the PowerPoint she would ask questions and pull a name and we had disagree and agree so they do try to make it kind of fun and interactive for the class but it's only so much fun that can really be um, I had meatloaf for lunch it actually tastes pretty good the orange chicken I heard was nasty so don't get it <laughs> um, that's really it y'all like this training for me is just super duper chill easy peasy let's go to class um, I do think like the the hardest part that it's gonna be for me is just um, adjusting to um, you know just the way that they do things or terminologies or you know just little itty bitty things that you kind of get embedded in you from your previous airline and then you know you come here and it's like they're doing the same things but it, they're just kind of tweaked differently so basically just erasing my memory from JetBlue and learning their ways. So it really hasn't been too difficult just with the stuff that we learned today. Like that's just a little tweak here and there. But um, you know just once we start really probably when it comes to learning emergency procedures, evacuations and things of that sort is probably when it will get a little more difficult for me. Um, but yeah, so we got assigned homework tonight, and that is just basically, oh, we also got this. <laughs> we also got this lovely, lovely book. So this is our, they call it the IPM, the In-Flight Procedures Manual, I think is the title of this thing. Yeah. So, that's just basically our flight attendant manual, our flight attendant Bible. It has every question that you could ever ask that has to pertain to the job in there. But the good thing is, is that soon they're going to be getting rid of the actual physical book and everything will be going on a tablet, a phone, and it will all be electronic, which is what... I was used to before so I mean this is okay but you literally have to carry that book we'll have to have it with us every day like that's our study material you have to have it on every flight with you so they say they're supposed to be phasing it out at the end of August so I'm really hopeful for that because that book takes up just extra space and y'all know I already lugged my whole life with me <laughs> so yeah we did that today that took a long time actually just putting in all the pages and you know, it's just, when you go to different airlines and people, you know, some airlines you go to are older and they haven't really caught up, you know, techn te they haven't really caught up technology wise. It It's like, it's kind of like, whoa, like, well, what is this? Like, <laughs> what are we doing? You know, like literally things like they were saying, you know, policies that they did and um, during flight, things that we kind of have to write down and you know, and I'm like, well, before I did that, all of that stuff was, you know, electronic on an iPad or whatever. So, just those type of little adjustments is what I'm realizing today. But hopefully it seems like they're trying to catch up with the times and get with the technology and kind of simplify a lot of all of that crap. But anyways, that's it. We got homework to do. We have to just basically, the, the homework asks some questions and we have to be able to find it in the book they want us to write down what the correct answer is and what page and section and all kind of crap that we found it on just basically knowing that we know how to read through the book and find things um but yeah it's raining like crazy i did want to go to the store and kind of get some hangers and stuff because i showed y'all my clothes situation early in this earlier and it's a hot mess but i'm not really trying to get out in this rain either so amazon might be my best friend um Say hi to the camera, Britt. Hey, guys. <laughs> that's Brittany. That's my roommate. Um, we've been having a good time. Um, anyways, I'm hungry. So knock this homework out in this little hour. And I will see y'all tomorrow. All right. Hey. Just got back from the store, y'all. <laughs> I bought a laundry basket from Target. And I bought this whole little 
um, storage drawer thing. Isn't that crazy? Come to a hotel and buy furniture. Like, who do I think I am? And then, I didn't steal this, y'all. There's a receipt, okay? <laughs> I just put it all in there to consolidate. I spent $50 in Target on this, these three items, and a glass of wine. I would think that's it, yeah. So now I can get all these clothes up out of here. I'm just gonna ask the hotel to bring me, um, gonna, I don't think y'all seen me in a while. I'm gonna ask the hotel to bring me some hangers. Definitely not tonight, cause it's 9.30 now and I'm sleepy. Um, but a few, two other girls wanted to run to the store, so I was just like, oh, okay, well, we can just go tonight. And then I was going to buy hangers. They were like, no, just ask the hotel. I was like, yeah, that's true. Save a little buck or two instead of wasting money. But at least now I won't be feeling so clustered in this corner. And I can get these bags off the ground and have space. And then I bought this little bin thing for the bathroom to put all of my my bathroom products and just to kind of get them off the counter you know just trying to be courteous and not take up all the space in the world anyways me and Brittany did our homework before we went and had dinner it was really cute like she sat on her bed I sat on my bed and we did our homework together. We helped each other. I think I keep saying it. I was really, really nervous about the roommate situation, but it's working out. It is working out. And for any of you all that ask, how's Vaughn? Where's Vaughn? Vaughn is great. We're definitely still friends. I love her. She should be here for this graduation if she can get off. If not, that's all right too. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna try to put up a few of these clothes. I'm gonna put my jeans in here that we can't wear. I think I said in my what's a pack for training video that we could wear jeans because it said it in there, but then they, I asked about it. They said that we don't have any days dedicated to jeans. So that's all right too. I'll just wear some jeans when I go see Beyonce and Lion King because we're off that day. Anyways, that's enough yapping. Good night.